Hi everyone, uh, today I will be trying out the new Maybelline Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. Um, I'm super excited to try this. Uh, I saw this on Ulta's like new arrivals page a week ago and um, as per usual, you know, those pictures are not online weren't very helpful as far as like picking the right shade for me or you know just like the one shade so i went ahead and and uh, picked up two shades um so this product really I, I think it only has five shades i think maybelline only came out with five shades for it and i think that's because um, you know these five shades are meant to be like uh, what's the word like stretchable um, you know cover a, a large range of shades because um, I think maybe they're like self-adjusting or something um, but you know I always find it kind of interesting when brands go that route um, it's kind of what like Fenty did I think with their um, their skin tint right so I think on like Sephora or on like their website they're like you know if you're shade 340 to you know 350 in our in our regular foundation then this skin tint color will work for you like you know so yeah I just think it's interesting when when brands do that so I'm pretty excited to try this um, it's meant to be like a you know four in one glow makeup so it it has a prime it's a primer it's a concealer it's a highlighter it's a bb cream um so basically magic in a bottle is what it's supposed to be so yeah i ended up getting two shades now i did kind of play around with them yesterday as far as like swatching them um so they uh you know i did go ahead and kind of pump some product out but these are the two shades that i got so I have here the medium two and then the medium deep three shade. So as you can see, I mean, they, there is definite like a, a, a color jump, you know, from two to three. Um, I mean, just kind of looking at them, I am kind of gravitating more towards two medium rather than three medium deep. Um, I'll go ahead and kind of try out both on my face just to see where I'm at, but uh, I'm kind of leaning towards the medium, which is pretty weird, <laughs> pretty rare for me to use something that's in like the strict medium category. Um, I'm normally, you know, one or two shades after like medium, you know, usually in the tan, on the tan side. So um, yeah, super excited to try this. Um, I don't think the camera can pick uh, up on this, but they do have um, both. They do have like little glow, little gold glow, like shimmery particles. I don't know how to describe it, but looking at the bottom, I mean, just kind of moving it like this. I mean, the light catches those little um, gold particles. So I'm interested to see how that looks on the face you know everything it looks pretty in the bottle but you know being on the face is a whole nother thing so um also the uh the medium deep i mean it's it's definite you know definitely there it's obvious um you know if i just kind of move it around the light catches a little gold flex i don't, I don't think you guys can see that but they do have them so yeah so we'll see um how this goes um so just uh, really quickly, um, you know, one of the claims or benefits of this is that it's a primer. Um, I feel like realistically, if I do love this product, I would just end up using it as like a BB cream and, you know, a, a highlighter and a concealer. I don't know about a primer because I, I, I typically don't highlight under like uh, use like liquid highlighters or anything I don't even really use primers on myself so I'm not sure if I'll go ahead and use like a foundation on this I feel like you know I'm just being honest I would just stick to this as my only um, complexion product so I'm not sure yet but that's kind of where I'm leaning towards um, but we'll see we'll see we'll, we'll test this out okay 
So let's do some quick swatches first. So let me go ahead and swatch the um, medium shade first. So it has that typical like twisty sponge tip mechanism like the Age Rewind concealers. And I kind of wanted to use this today because I really wanted to test out like the concealing properties because uh, as you can see I have a little neighbor right here. So we'll see how that goes as far as you know coverage. Let's just cover that actually. <laughs> okay, so that's the medium shade. So looking at it in the mirror, it looks very peachy. Very peachy, very neutral, not the typical warm golden undertone that I prefer, I'll be honest. Um, but I mean, I, I kind of get why it maybe isn't too golden because if it's shade two medium and then from medium to deep medium, there's really no in between. I mean, I, I guess I can see why they kind of have to cater it to a lot of skin tones and maybe not everyone has that golden yellow undertone. So maybe that's kind of why it's more neutral. I don't know. All right. So this is the uh, uh, number three medium deep. I mean, this does look a little bit darker for my liking, but we're just gonna see. Okay, so medium and medium deep. So a definite jump there and I don't know about the shade two, but the shade three, like as soon as I applied some, I know the, I think the light's kind of picking up those gold particles. There's a lot of shimmery gold particles in this. I don't know what to call it because it's, it's not glitter. It's, but it is shimmer. I don't know how to describe it. Um, there's a lot of it. <laughs> showing in the deeper shade not so much in the medium but uh that's what it is so i mean the one that kind of blends more into my skin tone is shade two even though i don't think it's an exact match right now because i mean it is a pretty blunt swatch you know it's not blended in so i don't know let's go ahead and try both um Let's just see what happens. See um, if they really adjust. So yeah, um, let me go ahead and just take this off. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the shade number two. So I, like I said, I would probably, if I do end up liking this, I would probably use it more as a BB cream. Um, I don't expect this to give me like a full coverage because it's not labeled as a foundation but I'm expecting some coverage because BB creams typically do have some coverage um, so you know we'll see how that goes um, I don't ever use like sponge tips like this to actually blend um, so I think what I'm going to do is because my little neighbor here is like peeling and a little bit scabby, I'm not gonna go in with a brush here because I feel like it'll just, it won't sink into the skin. As with a beauty sponge, it may kind of more, it, it may be a little bit more forgiving with this little dry scab here. So let's see. I'm just gonna kind of dot it uh, with any foundation or complexion product. I usually just dot it on my face and then I blend. So we're, we're gonna do that. <laughs> it's kind of like I'm just stamping it. Okay, well that that's what it looks like. I'll take my little uh, sponge here and blend. Okay, right away, I see those gold shimmery 
I see that gold shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see it. I see a lot of it here. I mean, I have a strong feeling that gold shimmer is what's, it's what helps this product claim that it's a highlighter. It's all those gold shimmery particles. I don't know, they, they are really obvious uh, up close. Uh, mm. so I don't I wish maybe they weren't so obvious but obviously on camera you can't really see in detail but I see them up close let's just keep going add it a little bit more I don't have anything under my eyes All right, so what do we think about how it gave me some coverage over my little spot here? And I think using a sponge and, you know, pressing the product over uh, my little scab there definitely helped in it not looking too obvious that it's scabbing. I, I didn't expect ex this product to, you know, cover it 100% like if it's not there. I mean, it's definitely there. It's flaky skin. You can't really do too much about that. Um, okay, so... Very light layer and then nothing on my skin. Mm. I mean, I do see that my skin is glowy. You know, every time I kind of shift, the light definitely catches some glow there. But if I'm being 100% honest, I don't know how it looks like on camera exactly right now, but I can tell you that in the mirror, I'm not really blown away. Um, it's not like I mean, it definitely gave me some tint, some color to my skin, but I mean, not uh, not enough to where I'm just like, wow, you know, part of me feels like I could have just left my bare skin uh, and I would have been fine. So... If anything, I feel like this just kind of deepened my, like, you know, tinted my skin so maybe it can match a little bit better with my neck and my body, but I don't think it's doing anything miraculous. Um, I, yeah. I will give it, it, it gave me a little bit of a tint. I mean, so far that's what it's doing. I mean, yes, it looks a little glowy, uh, on camera but again it's because of all those gold shimmery particles in it and I don't know if that's really like a convincing me so all right but we're gonna go ahead and try the shade number three just for kicks even though I mean I feel like this already did something you know as far as tint my skin to a believable shade um but uh, let's just go ahead and do this um just to see what it looks like so i'm gonna apply the shade three on this side side shade three Again, we're gonna go in with the sponge. I mean, if shade two tinted my skin a bit, 
to just look like my own, you know, to match with my body. Definitely shade three will, I mean, I know it will do the same. If anything, it'll just tint it a bit darker than shade two. I feel like that's all it's going to do. Make me, make me look a little bit more tan in my face. about my neck or my ears sorry um all right so this is shade two this is shade three two three I don't notice a terrible difference. I don't know. What does it look like? Right now, I'm seeing that they're incredibly similar. Um, if you are my skin tone, I would say maybe go with shade two. If, if shade two isn't available, then I would still give shade three a try, especially if you don't mind looking a little bit, a little bit more tanned. You know, it just depends what, you know, the rest of your body looks like, I think. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish off like my forehead here, um, half of my nose. I'm gonna finish off that side of my face with shade two. Yeah. Just in my in my mirror, these gold particles are just so obvious. I don't know if I like that. Obviously the shimmer is what's giving the appearance of a glow, but I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know yet. Alright, let's finish off shade three here. I wasn't wearing anything under my eyes. I don't really know. I don't really know if I want to use this product under my eyes. I mean, I know it claims to be a concealer, but I don't I don't think they meant it as like a under eye concealer. I think maybe they meant it more as just like over uh, overall concealer like for spots or conceal imperfections just overall so that's how i take it so i'm not going to use this under my eyes and besides the gold particles that it has i don't think i want that under my eyes honestly i want brightness but i don't want shimmer you know like the like what the rest of this is doing to my face All right, um, I'm gonna take shade two and go over, you know, the little splotches that I had. Just one more time. So I had one here and there. Here by my mouth. I had good skin like almost a whole month. And then boom, that time of the month comes and it's like all my good, all my hard work and consistency goes out the window because I always get some kind of breakout 
always. Okay, so I, you know, added some of the little, um, you know, the product to like my little scabs and, and marks. Um, I mean, it, it covers them. It definitely covers them. Um, using a beauty blender kind of allows for it not to totally make my scab situation worse. Just kind of nicely sits on the scab and I don't want to rip the scab off because it's healing you know so I'm just gonna have to let that be coverage is good it just no matter how little of a pinch you put of you know of the product because maybe you want to use it as a conceal as a spot concealer the formula just has so much shimmer that I seem to have a lot of shimmer on you know, on the little scab there. I don't know if you could see, but that's a lot of shimmer. I mean, from far, it's not, like I said, it's not terrible. But, I don't know, something about this isn't, I'm not fully convinced yet. So, all right, so I guess you could say that's one layer, blend it out with the blender sponge and then went in a little bit more precise for my little spots. So that was my little spot there. It did a good, you know, decent, decent coverage, but there is a lot of freaking shimmer on that spot because like I said, it doesn't matter the, smallest amount you use there's just so much gold shimmer in this so i mean i don't know if you can see it up close but there is a lot of gold shimmer where i spot concealed here and here i mean i'd rather just use a regular concealer so that it doesn't have shimmer honestly but we're just you know we're just trying it see what happens um Apart from just evening my skin tone a bit, I mean, that, that's really all it did. It, again, it gave me some coverage. I don't know how to feel about this. Um, I, I don't want to bash it 100%, but I'm not like singing praises right now. Um, I'm not really sure to feel, oh, you know, I don't know okay um, let me go ahead and just finish off my face like I would a regular application this is realistically how I would wear it one thin layer because again I would use it as a BB cream not as a full coverage foundation I'll use it as a BB cream um, typically with BB creams I always use some kind of under eye concealer even if it's like a super light super light um, I still do blush and I still do bronzer so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly I'm gonna use the Fenty uh, Bright Eye Fix. I have been loving this for those low key uh, days, which, you know, honestly, that's, depending how I feel about this after today, if I do end up, you know, using this again, keeping it, um, I would use it for some low key makeup days, I mean, I don't expect for this to give me, you know, full coverage. I'm just going to apply that. Guys, this Fenty Under Eye Concealer is such a game changer for me. I highly recommend anyone to try this Under Eye Brightener. It's freaking amazing. And this is the peach shade I'm using, by the way, sorry. I feel like just enough, just enough coverage to get me by. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of a little honey shade. And it could go brighter under my eyes, but 
don't really think I want to. Actually, we'll, we'll do a little bit of honey because I'm going to see about concealing that little spot more because, I mean, yes, the Maybelline product concealed it, but like I said, since I spot concealed, there's just so much shimmer in, in that formula. Like, I just have a lot of shimmer in my, you know, what in where I was trying to conceal. I don't know about you, but I don't want shimmer on my spots, you know, that I'm trying to cover. I don't want to make them more obvious. So you don't even need that much of the Fenty. Just pulling that out. Really nice and easy. Rihanna knocked it out of the park with that Fenty. And like I told you guys, I'm I was not a you know I wasn't crazy about Fenty products for myself because I hadn't really found anything that worked. But this Bright Fix, please don't ever discontinue that Rihanna. Okay, so putting some of the Fenty Bright Fix on my little spot there in between my brows, I mean, kind of helped cover and then tone down all that shimmer that was there. I think I'm all right base wise um go ahead and use the elf putty bronzer been loving this um if you haven't grabbed this yet you need to Seriously, if you haven't grabbed this, go check out my video on it where I rave about this. I always bronze my nose. Um, I'm going to use the actual putty brush to blend this out. This elf bronzer like just glides over everything. Like I said in that video, it is foolproof. Just a nice bronze look. Like without trying too hard, you know? Okay, that is that. Um, lastly, let's just do some blush and some highlighter. So I'm gonna be using the Elf Putty Blush. I just got this shade the other day. This is Tahiti. So pretty. I've still been using my Jaclyn Hill blush sticks very often, but um, uh, but I just got this, um, so I kind of want to try it out. I do have like four other pretty pretty blush shades and I love all of them. It's just like a personal preference which shade I want to use which day. Guys, these are so easy to use. 
I'm using uh, like a real techniques brush. I think this is limited edition though. But any like, you know, dual fiber brush can apply these just fine. Take my sponge and just tap, tap, tap that blush in just a tad more. And that's that. Um, all right, let's just do some highlighter, some bottom mascara, and I think we're done. Uh, I've been loving this um, this uh, highlighter by Estee Lauder. This is from their Bronze Goddess collection. Uh, I couldn't say no because of the tortoise packaging, or the you know tortoise looking. I don't. I don't think it's straight up tortoise print, but uh, it kind of looks like it. I love this so, so much. I've been using it for the past few days. It's seriously like my new favorite highlight. This gives you such a pretty lit from, with, lit from within glow. has a nice scent too, like a perfumey, typical Estee Lauder scent. Oh my gosh. This is, you know, the final look. Um, I mean, I like how everything looks, you know, but it's just, a, a, I know I'm not going to be walking around with a mirror in front of me all day, but I see like the gold flecks, gold particles, I don't know, gold shimmer that is in this Maybelline product is so obvious on my face right now. Um... And that's what I don't like. And I kind of feel that not only does it have a lot of shimmer for my liking, I kind of feel like it emphasizes my texture on my skin. Um, so I'm not happy about that. Um, shades, I, I think I could get away with wearing either. I mean, medium, deep, medium, deep, medium, medium, deep. I can get away with wearing either or. As a, like, spot concealer, I mean, it conceals, yes. Um, decent coverage for a BB cream concealer. Um, but again, just so much gold shimmer in this product. I probably wouldn't use it as a spot concealer again. It, it just draws so much attention to, to your spots if you use it as a spot concealer because of the shimmer. And even you guys saw I blended it out. I mean, that didn't really do too much. Um, so the obvious gold shimmer and the fact that it's emphasizing my texture, the shades, I mean, I don't think it provided that much coverage um I, i'm just gonna go ahead and say it I, I i don't think this product is worth the hype uh i don't think it's worth your money <laughs> um i mean i i get what they were trying to do you know like an all-in-one product especially right now for the summertime where People don't want to do too much. I get it. I get the concept behind it, the intentions behind it. But, you know, lately I've been using, uh, just like I showed you guys in my last video, I've been using just a nice eye brightener, concealer, lightweight, cream bronzing, highlighter, blush. That's really all I feel like I need for a very low-key day. Um... You know, I would wear that to the beach or to the grocery store. Like, that is enough. 
I don't feel like I'm missing anything from that look. This, I mean, I'm wearing a BB cream base, but I feel like I, I don't need it. I mean, what, what does this give me? Um, even my skin tone, I mean, I guess my, you know, particularly me, my skin tone wasn't that off. And then using a bronzer and blush and a highlight, it, it all kind of works out in the end for me, in my opinion. I, I, long story short, I don't feel like I need this product. Um, the excessive gold shimmer in this and the texture emphasizing qualities of this, I could do without it. No, thank you. So, I mean, my honest opinion no I, i'm not gonna use this ever again um if i want you know like a very dewy highlighted look i mean you guys have seen i do that with highlighters and you know my setting sprays um i mean if i really want to go above and beyond i can use a liquid highlighter um just you know in the high points and then go over you know if i want to wear like a base over that that'll kind of give me like that you know that glowy look um as far as like a complexion product that can give me that but this the fact that it just it's so obvious the gold shimmers in it i can't get over that and the fact that it emphasized my pores maybe because of the same shimmer like it's a pass it's a pass for me. I'm going to wear it. I'm still going to wear it all day. Um, I'll check in. Um, but yeah, those are my kind of initial thoughts on this. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes throughout the day. Um, I'm trying to think if I have... I mean, I don't really have too much to do today, but maybe I'll hit the gym and we'll see how it goes at the gym. I don't know. <laughs> But I will check in later, and I'll let you guys know. So I turned off my ring light, just so you guys can kind of see um, in more natural light what this is looking like right now. Again, this is shade medium and medium deep. Um... Okay, definitely medium deep. Uh, you know, it, it definitely definitely looks a pinch too dark. Like on my face, it looks very obvious that it's a pinch too dark, darker than my neck. So if you're my skin tone, again, NARS Tahoe, uh, MAC NC, let's just go with MAC NC42 for now. I feel like that's what I am right now because of my tan. Um, NC, MAC NC42, NARS Tahoe, Lancome, Taint, Idol, 420, um, Makeup Forever HD, Liquid, uh, Y425, those are, that's what I am right now, so if you are those shades or similar, definitely don't go with the medium deep, that may be a little, a pinch too dark for you, too tan for you. Um, definitely medium would be your best route, which is so, it's so weird for me to say that I'm a shade medium. I've never been a shade medium ever in my life in, you know, complexion products, but, um, I'll give it to them. The five shades, I mean, I feel like they do adjust. I mean, on me, I feel like they adjusted to shade two adjusted, especially since I'm sure it's supposed to cover people that are way lighter than me. Um, so I give them that the shade matching abilities, you know, pretty pretty cool um, Shade three is just a, a pinch to to tan and too dark for me um, The places where I spot concealed which is right here and right here um, They still look very shimmery So again, I wouldn't use that as like a spot concealer um, the rest of my face, um, doesn't look too terrible, but I don't know, this just seems like an, uh, an excessive, ex you know, step that I don't need. I would very much rather not 
use this BB cream and maybe just spot conceal with a regular concealer that doesn't have shimmer, doesn't bring attention to my breakouts. Um, so those are my honest thoughts. <laughs>